This video demonstrates the use of IGW to create a transient groundwater model in which the land surface is modeled as a drain. First, the horizontal extent of the aquifer is defined by a rectangular polygon with a constant hydraulic conductivity, recharge, and bottom elevation. Scatter points are used to define the top elevation of the aquifer at a few locations, which are then used to interpolate the top elevation throughout the model domain. A couple of pumping wells with pumping rates that vary in time are added to the model. A transient model is then discretized and ran to show the impact of variable stresses on the seepage area, that is, the area where the water table is at or above the land surface. The modeling results are in, displayed in plan and cross-section views. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. Set the workspace extent to 10,000 meter by 10,000 meter. 2. Create a polygon covering the entire modeling workspace. Edit its properties in Attribute Explorer. In the Flow Properties tab, check Conductivity and assign a constant value. In the Elevations tab, check Bottom Elevation and assign a constant value. Note, do not assign a top elevation. In the Head Dependent Flux tab, check the Head Dependent Flux one way, and underneath Elevation, select Top Elevation with the default offset value of 0 meters. This simulates the land surface as a drain, where water will leave the aquifer at the nodes where the head exceeds the land surface elevation. Go to the Prescribed Flux tab, check the Recharge box, select Constant, and enter 5 centimeters per year into the text box. In the Elevations tab, ensure that top elevation has not been checked. 3. Add Scatter Points Select the Add Scatter Point icon and single click in each corner in the middle of the modeling domain to add five scatter points. Edit each scatter point in Attributes Explorer. For each point, go to the Elevations tab, check Top Elevation, select Constant, and enter a value into the box. Then uncheck Use as Starting Head. Four, interpolate the top elevation between elevations assigned at each scatter point. In Attributes Explorer, right-click on the parent zone in which the scatter points have been placed and select Switch Lists. Select Top Elevation to five points and ensure that the Interpolation Simulation box is checked and that Inverse Distance is selected from the pull-down menu. Note that Krieging is also available. In Interpolation Parameters, ensure that a value of two is assigned for exponent and 5 is assigned for the number of nearest points. Select Apply in the bottom right corner of Attributes Explorer. Five, display the seep area. Click the Display Options icon and check Seep Area in Conceptual Features and Text. Then open the options. Change the color to pink and then OK to, to complete the change. Six, discretize and run the model. Note the seep area in the middle of the model. Seven, add a well on each side of the seep area. Edit and Attributes Explorer. For the right well, under Flow Rate, select Transient and open the Transient Options window. Uncheck Random Fluctuations and Periodic Fluctuations, then click on Edit. The trend data, or pumping rates for defined intervals of time, can be assigned manually or by importing. To import, click on Import from File and then load the CSV file.
assign a recycle period of 360 days and click OK. Click on Redraw to update the plot with the imported data. For the left well, repeat the steps done for the right well, but import a different CSV file. Eight, draw a cross section that goes through the center of the model domain and through both wells. Nine, discretize the model. In the profiles display window that appears, check top elevation. Ten, Perform transient modeling. Select the Set Simulation Time Parameters icon from the icon toolbar. Select Transient State and use the time step of 10 days. Then set the simulation length to 3,650 days and click OK. Eleven, run the model. Note the changing flow patterns and the changing seep area as the simulation proceeds. Also note the head and top elevation in the profile display.